Y bueno, happy Sunday morning to you. Welcome. We want to welcome you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Uh, bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Prepárate a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And he has, for, he has something for you. Yes, so praise yes. God. So, so glad you're joining us right now. Amen. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this day. This yes. is the day that you have given us. Yes. And we shall rejoice and be glad yes. in it, Father yes. God. Whatever they're going through right now, Father God, we thank you, Father, that you uh, provide for them, Father God, every need in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. So you, we want you to prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And we want to welcome you. God wants to bless you, encourage you. Uh, change you and correct you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. So glad to see you. So glad you could join us. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I am happy. I am happy. Uh, grab your swords. Yeah. And church, say it like you mean it. Amen. Yeah. This is this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. I am excited. I don't know about you, but you know, I don't let things take me down. I don't let uh, the world or people take the smile from your face. Amen. Smile is good. We're going to be talking about uh, believers being the happiest people on earth. And, you know, sometimes... Uh, if you smile, your smile gets there before you get there. Amen? <laughs> and it sets people at ease, you know? Yeah. If you're frowning all the time, uh, it also tells a lot about you. Yeah. Okay. So you don't want to don't, don't frown so much. Amen? <laughs> and, you know, if you're frowning all the time and you smile, you might crack your face off. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. Amen? Yeah, no. But anyway, we are, we have, God has given me a great message. And uh, I want you to be ready to receive, amen? amen. And sometimes, you know, we want to pass it on to somebody else, you know? Yeah. If so-and-so was here, if this person was here, this would have been just right for them. Yeah. But what about you? This is just right for you, amen? So get yourselves ready to receive whatever God has for you, amen? amen. And he has a, he, you know, he's always on time. Yep. And he always right, amen? So praise God. So you prepare yourselves. Los que nos están escuchando ahorita por audio y video, bienvenidos. Those of you joining us by audio video, good to see you. God bless you, amen. So get ready, and we're going to blast off. Amen. Lord has an awesome message for us, amen. amen. We have some great slides for you. <laughs> Thank amen. you, Carmen. This is not only this day, but every day. Yeah. We have to know this. Let God arise. Uh -huh. Amen. Let God arise. No matter what the, the circumstances are outside. No matter yeah. what's going on. You know, coronavirus. Yeah. That's what all people talking oh, about. Goodness. You know, they're magnifying their problems instead of magnifying their God. Yes, we yeah. need to magnify our God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, let God arise. Amen. And you know, you can do this. Amen. Yes. You're... Uh, <laughs> You're the one. When you see see yourself in the mirror, talk to this person and say, uh -huh. you can do all things through Christ. Yeah. I'm going to let God arise in my, in my situations. Yeah. I'm going to let God arise in my world. I'm going to let yeah. God arise in, in wherever I do. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Amen. We're going to yeah. be talking about this. Let God arise uh -huh. and your enemies be scattered. Uh -huh. Let God arise and let your cares, your troubles, your problems yeah. Be scattered. All right, man. Amen. He's not giving us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. He also says, if we submit to him, mm -hmm. all these things will flee. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to read it to you here in a few minutes in a different translation so that you can get it. Amen. But if we let God arise, uh -huh. amen, these things will go. Right. We, we, we also are going to be talking about mindsets. Oh, We're also right. going to be talking about, you know, traditional ways, oh, you know, Jesus. where we want to keep God in a box. We want to keep God to the same old things. You know, thank God we don't uh, ride a horse and buggies anymore. Thank God for cars. Things change. <laughs> so, you know, things change. That's okay. You know, God never changes. Amen. He, he's always the same. Amen. Yes. Praise God. I don't need those right there. Anyway, we're going to be reading our text. It's going to be Psalm 68. So we're going to be going there in a few minutes. But let God arise and let your 
cares, your troubles, your problems. Yeah. Be scattered. Magnify yeah. God and not your troubles. Yeah. Here's the thing is, <laughs> don't magnify the coronavirus while you're having a few coronas yourself. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, you're having a few coronas and you're going around the, the table there and everybody's always magnified and wants to top the next one. Well, you know, hey, you haven't been around here. You haven't heard this. This is the latest, you know. Yeah, this is the latest. But we don't sit around and talk about the word of God and what God has done and what God is doing and what yeah. God is going to do. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So, you know, slow down on the coronas, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't magnify the problem. Magnify amen. the God. Amen. amen. So, church, we must let God arise. Yes. Amen. We have to. Well, you know, you, what you can say is, I must let God arise in my, my life. Yes. Amen. In my life. You know, this is what we need to do. If you want things to change, let God arise yes. in your life. Amen. Woo, here's a few things we can do. Surrender totally to him on a daily uh -huh. basis. Matthew 6, 33 says what? Yeah. Submit yourself to God. No, excuse me. <laughs> oh, my God. Seek, <laughs> Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Amen. So seek him first. You know, as you spend yeah. time with him, we're going to be talking about this, but you spend time with him and get with him, you know, and just to say, Lord, I need you in my life. Thank you. If you don't know what else to say, just say thank you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He woke you up. Amen. Amen. He woke you up, and that's a good thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because some didn't you get a wake that's up call. Right, Amen. Right. So, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, set your priorities right on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. You know, hey, I've got all these priorities I need to do at work. Uh -huh. I got all these things I need to do at home. But guess what? God first. Yeah. You know, hey, and if you get overwhelmed, just stop right in the middle of what you're doing and say, uh -huh. <laughs> Lord, I need a break. <laughs> I need you right now. Lord, touch yeah. me. You know, bless me. Yes, and you know what? He will. Yeah. He's always with us, and he's right yeah. there for you. Yeah. Set your priorities right. Know yeah. that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things going on, but guess what? You can do all things through Christ. Yeah. Let God arise. Amen. Greater is he that is in you Amen. than he that is in the world. Yeah. So yeah. praise God. Guess what? By the time we get through with this message, I hope that you let God arise. Yes. yes. Amen. Let God arise. Nobody can do that but yourself in uh -huh. your life. Amen. Let God arise in your life. You know, don't worry about what so-and-so else is doing or who's doing this on that side on that side or all around you. You let God arise in your life. Amen. Uh -huh. That's what I need. I need God more than anything right now. Amen. It's a beautiful song that goes like this. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it to you. Amen. <laughs> 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 says, let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Amen. Yes. Your enemies are different than mine. But still, we have enemies. Amen. The enemy, the devil, sees yeah. to it. Yeah. Amen. And these enemies are different. Uh -huh. Whatever these enemies are, distractions or whatever it is, know that when you submit yourself to yeah. God and, and resist the devil, they're going to flee. Amen. Let God arise. Amen. Yeah. Let yeah. God arise. This yeah. song is seldom sung in church anymore. <laughs> these blood songs, these power yeah. songs are hardly <laughs> sung in church anymore. We need to continue to sing these songs. Amen. Yeah. The blood of God, the blood of Jesus, amen. Yes. Nothing but the blood of Jesus, Nothing amen. Woo. Sing this song. This should be our marching song. You know, when uh, Joshua, when God told Joshua uh, to march around the uh, the walls of Jericho, he said, how are we going to get these walls down? God says, okay, this is my plan. He says, put the worshipers ahead, in front. <laughs> and, you know, Joshua, the general, is confused, just like, what are you talking about? This is not the way to fight a war. No, but this is God's way. Yes. Amen. We have our own ways, and we want God to bless our ways. Mm -hmm. We want God to bless our plans. Yeah. We want God to bless, bless our day, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? He's, he's got better things for you. Yes. So we submit ourselves to him. Yes. Amen. Joshua said, whatever you say, I will do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, I'm so, so glad that when God chose uh, uh, Peter, you know, Peter, he says, he's a fisherman. Mm -hmm. I know all about fishing. But God says, follow me. I'll make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. Amen. He 
could have just resisted and says, who are you? You know, I'm not going to bow down to you. I'm not going to give in to you. I have my ways. I know how to fish. Mm -hmm. You know, but he says, I'll do it. And he yeah. did. And when we resist, when we give in to him, he's going to bless you yes. abundantly. Yes. You, Amen. The word says, John 10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, yeah. destroy. Yeah. He says, but I have come that you might have life, life and yes. life more abundantly. Yeah. So, you know, when you resist yourself, surrender yourself, commit yourself to serving him, he's going to bless you. Yes, he and, is. you know, you, you, you're going to say, why have I been away all this time? Why have I been resisting all this time? Uh -huh. Amen. The best thing to do is submit, commit, yes. and serve. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> Ooh, let the gates of hell be stormed. Amen. I think I have a sticker on my truck, one of my vehicles. It says, <laughs> it's hell out there without God, without Jesus. Without Jesus. Yeah. Amen. It's uh -huh. hell out there without Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't feel that, you know, something wrong, you need to get saved. <laughs> 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 because without him, it feels like hell out there. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you don't submit to, to him uh -huh. and spend time with him on a daily basis, yeah. when you step out your doors, you'll feel it. Oh, yeah. Amen. I mean, there's rage mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. And the world will have you quick. Yes. And it's so negative out there and so dark out there. Uh -huh. I says, wow, dang, you want to go back and crawl back to where you was. Uh -huh. Amen. But if when you commit yourself to him and let your little light shine, and you're yeah. going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome a warrior for God. Amen. Uh, Woo, hallelujah. Glory. How many warriors do I have out there? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> hallelujah. Uh, he, praise God. God can't use anybody else except his body. Yeah. We are the church. We are the body of Christ. Amen. So he's going to use us. He wants to use you. Wherever you are, you know, that's uh -huh. you. God wants to use you. Yes. I don't care who's told you what. You can't. You can't. God won't use you anymore. Uh -huh. He wants to use you now. Yes, so get yes. up, your como se llama, and get involved in the things of yes. God. Say, Lord, yes. here I am. Use yes. me. Yes, yes, you. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. That's a good song. Praise good good word for you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. Let the people win great uh, spiritual victories with fresh anointing of the Holy yes. Spirit in them. Amen. Thank great you, numbers Lord. will be added to the church. The yes. body of Christ. Amen. Amen. But all of us working together in unity. Uh -huh. Amen. This body, this physical body works together real well. Yeah. Every organ, every tissue, every mm -hmm. muscle, everything in this body works fine. Yeah. And works in unity. Yeah. And this is what how God wants his body, the church, mm -hmm. to function yes, as yes. one in unity. Amen. Yes. So hallelujah. I thank Amen. you, brothers Amen. and sisters out there. <laughs> Praise God. God is good. Amen. Yeah. So set your priorities right on a daily basis. The Bible tells yeah. us in Psalms, we're going to be talking about a lot about joyful uh -huh. and happiness. Amen. Yeah. So get yourself ready. The Bible says God has given us a new day. He says rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Yes. So what are you going to do? Are you going to listen to what is going on there? Mm -hmm. What the circumstances are or what distractions are? Or are you going to say Lord, thank you for giving me a new day. Yes, I yes. will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise God. When you let God arise, your enemies and troubles have to flee. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, James 4, 7 says what? Submit yourself to God. Resist yes. the devil. He'll flee from you. Yes. This translation says, so give yourself to God. Stand against the devil and he will run away from you. Uh -huh. Amen. You know, instead of him chasing you all the time, uh -huh. you put him on a chase. Amen. Yes. You run. You, you yes. tell him to go in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise <laughs> God. I am, I've got a definition here for flee. It says uh -huh. run away. Escape. Take off. So praise God. Yes. He's going to go. Let me, let me have some more of these coming. Let God arise and let yes. his enemies be scattered. Amen. Let your enemies be scattered. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Hold on. Our house is frozen. Oh. <laughs> Okay, praise God. Pull up, pull, pull up that little thing on the side for the. Hallelujah! You know what you can do right now. We got a, a little problem here, but anyway, you know, go to Psalms 100. Go to Psalms 100. It's a Psalms of Thanksgiving, Amen. And you might have a different translation. Doesn't matter. Just read it, Amen. It's good. Hallelujah! And it's talking about us. It's talking to us, Amen. So praise God. Mine says what? Make a joyful, joyful noise. noise unto yeah. the Lord, all ye lands. Okay. Serve the Lord with what? 
Sadness. Gladness. <laughs> Gladness. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Amen. Amen. So listen. Yes, there it is. You'll have to put up with my singing, okay? So <laughs> God says so. He says I can sing. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so if you don't like it, pray about it. Amen. Lord, touch their ears and heal them. <laughs> no, the Lord, He is God. He is He who's made us and not uh -huh. we ourselves. We are His people and uh -huh. the sheep of His pasture. It says, enter His gates with Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. praise. Amen. Woo. Be thankful unto him and bless his bless name. His name. It says, For the Lord is good, yes. his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all, all generations. Oh, hallelujah. Thank Amen. You, Just be thankful. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Psalm 100, we just read that. It was, yes. uh, I read you a different translation, really? but it says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All you lands so the Lord yes. with gladness, coming for his presence with singing. Yes. Knowing that the Lord is he is God. It is he that has made us and yes. not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. He is our pastor. Amen. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Okay, keep going, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to be going to that one too. Praise Another song. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Open up Hallelujah. Psalm 150. Yes. It's the last one. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 150. Right before you go into Numbers. Here we go. Praise ye the Lord. It says, let everything praise the Lord. Let all of us praise the Lord. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his might acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and harp. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Woo. You might put up with my dancing too. Not only am I singing, but dancing too. <laughs> Praise God. Praise Him with string instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath yes. praise, praise the Lord. Are you breathing? Amen. <laughs> Thank God you're breathing. Praise if you're breathing, it says let everything. You know yes. what it says? Everything. Put your name there. Just scratch that and put your name there. It says yes. Jose. It says praise has breath and pre praise the Lord, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord, amen. Tells you amen. again right after that. Yes. It's you praise the Lord, amen. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. Amen. amen. I don't know about you, but uh, it's best to stay excited yeah. and sad. Oh yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. God's trying to reach you, and you're still sad. Ugh. Amen. Um, I want to read you a story, and this is my story, so I can say it that I want it. <laughs> amen. <laughs> But, and I've said it before, so just kind of bear with me. This lady approaches her pastor and tells her pastor, she says, Pastor, I want to inform you, I no longer want to attend this church. She says, uh, when I walk in, I see people gossiping. I see people uh, looking around not paying attention. I see people uh, on their phones. <laughs> Amen. I see people doing all kinds of things. He says, you know, this is not the right church for me. So the pastor hears that and says, you know what? Before you go, I want you to do one thing. He says, I want you to walk around the church. I want you to take this glass of water and I want you to walk around this church three times, okay? And uh, come see me when you're done. <laughs> so she does that. And when she comes back, the pastor asked her, did you spill any water? She said, not a drop. I didn't spill a drop. Are you kidding? She says, I, I was so focused on uh, what I was doing. I was focused on, on, on this water and me not dropping any water. He says, that's the way we need to do when we're focused on God. Yeah. That's the way we need to do when we're focused on what God yeah, has for right, us. Right, you know, we never received anything from God because we're so busy yeah. paying attention to what everybody else is doing. Uh -huh. And we're so, we need to be, put our minds at ease, 
our mind is focused on yes. what God has. You know, maybe has. you don't like the speaker. Pray, pray for the speaker. Yes. Lord bless him. Anoint him, Lord. Lord. Amen. Maybe you don't like the message, but guess what? God gave me this message. Right. So <laughs> complain to God. But still, what I want you to get is when we focused on what God has for us, uh -huh. we'll receive. I didn't spill the drop. And you know what? You're going to get everything that God says. You're going to get everything that God said through this yeah. speaker. Yeah, yeah. Because you were focused yeah. and not paying attention to what everybody else is doing. Yeah. This is for me. Lord, you have something for me. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on what you yeah. have for me, not yeah. what everybody else is doing. Right, right. So I want you to get that. Amen. Amen. And you know what? You're going to be happy. <laughs> Amen. Did you get anything? Yeah. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Praise God. Well, I didn't get anything. <laughs> well, you was too busy on your cell phone. Well, you were too busy doing something else. But guess what? Every time I go and, and Pastor wants to feed us, I always get what God has for us. Amen. 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 So don't say, I didn't get anything out of this. Right. <laughs> because if you weren't focused, you ain't going to get anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's it. Just when you get yourself to, to yeah. the table, and the meal is set, you know, you just don't go out there and just sit down and walk away. Huh. You're going to partake. Amen. You're going to have. Amen. Amen. So yeah. that was my version anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't say it right, when you say it, you do it your way. <laughs> Praise God. Here's another one. Nehemiah 8.10 mm. says what? It says, the last part of it says, yes. the joy of the Lord uh -huh. is your strength. Right. So you need some strength. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes. I will rejoice and be glad in you. Yes. We're Amen. talking about joyful people. Uh -huh. Christians being the jo most joyful people in the yeah. world. Why? Because we know our God. And we, because yeah. we know we win. Yeah. So what are you so sad about? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So believers should be the happiest joyful people on earth. Yes. Well, you, sometimes you need to share that with some, some of your Christian brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. yeah. You let them know. Yes. They may not like it. Mm. But we need to. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So you need some strength? Hey. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Put a smile on your face. Yes. Be joyful. Knowing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. thank you, thank you, thank you. Let God arise. Yes. Amen. When we do these things, we suddenly come alive mm -hmm. and the church will begin to move forward. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must break out of these religious spiritual ruts oh, yeah. that we uh, have set ourselves into, you know. Uh, keep, okay, yeah. Keep going down, Carmen. Uh, well, yeah. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hands of God that we might uh, lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxieties all on him because he cares for you. Keep, uh, keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. One more. Okay, right there. We're going to be talking about this. We're talking about traditions. We're talking about mindsets. Away with powerless traditions. But this is the way it's always been done. Amen. <laughs> This is always is the way it's always been done. Away with mindsets. Uh -huh. Look at some of these mindsets. It says fixed mindsets. Uh -huh. Avoid challenges. Give up easy. Set effort as a waste of time. Mm. Ignore Seek. criticism. Seek. No, that was Feel threatened by success of others. So mindsets. So what's this what what's what's the growth uh, mindset says? Avoid challenges. It says embrace challenges. Uh -huh. Give up easily. Keep going when things get difficult. Uh -huh. See effort as a wasted time. Yeah. As wasted uh -huh. as time. See it says as see effort, effort as the path of mastery. Yeah. Too you know what I want to say is this: when you get into the word, life and death are in the power of the tongue and the words. Yeah. So when you change the way you're speaking. <coughs> It's going to change. Yeah. It's going to change you. Yeah. Amen. Go one more, Carmen. <clears throat> it only takes one person to change your life. Yeah. You. You. And what's going to change your life? Your mindsets. Yes. 
you're going to change your mind and instead of being negative, you're going to be positive. Yeah. Be positive and start changing the words and start change, start saying the words uh -huh. God has told you to say. Yes. Remember we talked about your say-sos. Yes. So what are your say-sos? Are your say-sos positive or negative? Uh-huh. You know, if they're negative, your mindset is going to be negative. Yes. If your say-sos are positive, they're going to be positive. And it's going to change your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to change. I'm a new creature in Christ. Old is gone. Yes. New is in. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. So now I'm going to confess the right words, the right things. Uh -huh. And we're going to change. Amen. What one of them? Everything begins inside your mind with the right mindset. You will succeed. Yeah. The Bible says you can do all things all through Christ things. who strengthens yes. you. He also tells us what? He says, renew your mind. Yes. Amen. Renew your mind as often as possible. So he says, we are tried in spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. We feed our spirit the word of God. Mm -hmm. We renew our mind with the word of God. Yes. Confess the word, speak yes. the word, get the word in you. Yes. When you get yes. the word of God in you, your faith increases yes. and your fear has to go. Yes. Yes. Amen. And your mindsets are changed. I'll have a positive mindset now. Amen. So we need to do this all the time. Amen. Yes. We need to have the word of God in us. Amen. One more coming. <laughs> I wanted to see it. I wanted to show you this so bad. You know. <laughs> Those of you that are just uh, on audio, <laughs> I have a slide here that says, it's a Bible, and it's dusty, and it's wrote on there that says, read me. <laughs> well, God never talks to me. We need to open the Word, so we need Him to talk to you. And the next one coming? <laughs> the next one says, let's talk. Yes. God says he comes to visit with you and he's talk he's knocking on the door but we're not letting him in. He yes. wants to talk with you. Yes. You know, he wants to change your attitude. You know, your attitude determines your altitude. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if your attitude is positive, your altitude is gonna be up. Mm -hmm. You're gonna smile, you're gonna be cheerful. <laughs> Let's be cheerful and not sad. Yes. If your attitude is bad and negative, mm -hmm. it's gonna be down. You're gonna yes. crash. Amen. So we need to soar with the eagle yes. and not scratching with the chickens. That's Amen. Right. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> so away with the powerless traditions. This is the way it's always been done. No. You know, uh, when I first started, I talked to you about it. Uh, thank God we don't ride the horse and buggies. You know, oh, we got yeah, cars yeah. now. We got jets now. Well, thank God we've changed. Things change, you know. We still sing, and we still worship Him, yes. and we, He's still our God. Amen. Yes, He is. So praise God. And the mind says, as people, we need to understand that God is a God of variety. Yes, Amen. He is. Thank you. He Lord. isn't <laughs> controlled by habits, same ways. It doesn't always manifest Himself in the. Uh, his power in the same way every time. Right, it's different, you know. He healed people different ways. Yes. You know, some he touched, some he used uh, spit mixed with clay. Yeah. Others he spit at. Ah. You know, but still, when the different method with same results. Yes. They were healed. Yes. Amen. Yes. So we build spiritual roots in our Christian walks. We will put limitations on God. Mm that would require him to operate in the boundaries of what we think the way it should be. Mm -hmm. You know, we shouldn't be that way. We, tr we shouldn't try to limit him. He refuses to operate that way. And we need to find ourselves and uh, not do this. Amen? Not do this. Right, amen. amen. So, let me read this to you. In 1 Samuel 13, 14 it says, But now your kingdom shall not continue. Huh. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart. Yes. And the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So guess what he's describing? He's describing David mm -hmm. as a man after his own heart. Yes. Amen. We're talking about David. One of great, uh, David's greatest secrets was this. No enemy ever succeeded over him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He sinned. And all the Bible heroes you, you, you read about in the Bible mm. sinned. Yes, they did. Amen. They weren't perfect. 
but they've made themselves available to yes. God. And we need to make ourselves available to God. Amen? Amen. Here's another thing. He rose from nothing. From a shepherd boy mm -hmm. to becoming the greatest king Israel yes. ever had. Amen. Amen. So don't let your words, don't let people limit you That's to what right. you can be for God. That's right. And if whether it be something small or something big, still you're doing it under God. When you do yes. it under God in Colossians uh, 3, 23 and 24, it says, when you do it, do it as unto him yes. and not unto man. Amen. Because when you do it unto him, it doesn't matter what man says. Well, if That's you right. try to please men, you'll never please him. That's right. But when you're pleasing God, he says, yes. thank you. Yes. Amen. He says, thank you. He wants to bless you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. From a shepherd yes. boy to king. Yes. So don't limit yourself what you can do. God is, listen, God has gifted you. Yes. <laughs> and he God. says in his word, he never takes his gifts back. That's right. Amen. He never takes those gifts back. I hate to be in front of God and, and, and him say, why didn't you use the gifts I gave you? Mm -hmm. Well, I never do. What you saw the Bible, Bible never opened. Bible never read. Mm -hmm. It says, let's talk. Mm -hmm. He wants to talk to you to tell you what those gifts are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go to him and say, what is these gifts that you've given mm -hmm. me? You'll find out. And use those gifts to bless him, to honor him. Amen. And he's going to promote you to bigger and better things. He yes. promoted uh, David from a shepherd boy to king so he can do the same for you. Amen? Amen. So praise God. You may not be king, but you'll fulfill what God has for right. you. Yes. He has great right. things for you. He has great plans for you. None of these plans include defeat. That's right. Amen? <laughs> but we try to limit ourselves. Uh, I've told you this before, but I'll tell you again. Um, when the prophet came, when a man came, and uh, says, go to Jesse's house, and I want you to check out all his sons, because one of them is going to be king of Israel. Yep. And he sent all these seven boys through there, and he says, the man of God says, no, -uh, no, no. He says, by the way, do you have another son? Do you have somebody <laughs> else? He says, oh yeah, but he's just a little shepherd. He's taking care of the sheep. He's a nobody. He's a nobody. People will limit you. Yes. You know, and you will start believing this way. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a nobody. <laughs> I'm nobody. But that's not the way God sees you. If he mm. put you on this earth, you have gifts. And yes. he's got plans for you. But yes. you need to spend time with him to find out what those are. Yes. He said, I just have one more. But he, he he's just a little shepherd. He said, bring him. Yes. He brings him. And he passed in front of the man of God. And the man of God, God tells the man of God, he says, that's him. Mm -hmm. That's the next king of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he rose to be king of Israel. Yes, so you're going to rise up, you're going to see I'm a, <laughs> and get involved in the things of God. And God's yeah, going to take yeah. you places. Amen. And you're going to please him. Yeah. And he's happy with you. Amen. Thank you Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So he rose. From nothing, a shepherd boy, to becoming the greatest king of Israel. Like David, you can do the same. Overcome your enemies. Overcome your challenges. Overcome your circumstances. Yes. Overcome your weaknesses. Amen. Overcome those around you that are trying to limit you. Yeah. Amen. And be awesome for God. Know who you are yes. and know whose you are. You know, uh, <laughs> When when uh, when the uh, Philist when the uh, Israel armies was fighting the Philistine, they had a great hero. They had a Goliath, mm -hmm. and David once again, the little shepherd boy, is going up to bring lunch to his uh, mm -hmm. to his uh, brothers. And you know when he got there, all they're talking about is fear. All they're talking about the big problem, magnifying mm -hmm. the problem, big giant Goliath. Nobody ever talked about God until. David arrived. You know, right. wherever you happen to be, wherever you happen to go, nobody's talking about your God mm -hmm. except you. Yes. You bring your God wherever you go. Mm -hmm. You be that blessing wherever you go. Mm -hmm. You be that shining light wherever you go. Amen. There's a dark world out there. There's a negative world out there. And only David was the only one that says, wait a minute. You don't know. My God, he saw me. 
when the bear came, when the lion came, he saw me through this. And this uncircumcised Philistine, he yeah. says, he's no match to my God. Right. And that's, you know what? This coronavirus is no match to that's our right. God. Amen. <laughs> so remember that. Remember that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Know who you oh, are and who you who you are and yes. who, what you can do. You can do all things through all Christ. Things. You are more than an overcomer. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> know you can do all things through him. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a couple of more uh, songs to read to you, and then uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be done. Go back, Carmen. I think we 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 passed a few. Um. Okay. No, go go forward. Cast all your anxieties on Him. Says, for God has given us a spirit of fear. That's First Peter. Yeah, First Peter. Uh, First Peter five seven. Go ahead. Go ahead. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. 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 And we need we need to know this, you know, because yes. people out there, if you focus on the news, all uh, you know, we just allow that fear to overtake oh, us. Yes. We we can't allow that fear to overtake us. That's you know? right. We need to know that greater is He that sent us than He yes. that sent us. Amen. 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 And uh, and you know, sometimes we just gotta love <coughs> us, uh, and pray. It says if my people pray. Yes. What God says, if my people pray, are you praying? Mm -hmm. You know, hallelujah. We need yes. to pray. One more to come. Here we go. He is what we must do. Here is what we must do. Hebrews 13, uh, 5 and 6 says, let your conversation be yes. without covetousness. Amen. And be content with such things as ye have. <laughs> For he has said, yes. I will never leave you That's nor right. forsake thee. Amen. He never leaves yes. you nor forsake Amen. thee. And verse 6 says, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. 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 If you want to fear something, you fear what God can do. Because, mm. <laughs> you know, whatever man can do, no problem. You know, but what God can do, he can just wipe you out. <laughs> but he don't want to do that. Amen. Mm. He sacrificed his own son for yes. us so he yes. can win us back. Amen. Yes. So praise God. praise God. Amen. You want to do one more? <clears throat> yeah. But sometimes God will put a Goliath in Ooh. your life for you to find the David within you. All right. Amen. <laughs> and you just step out of your door and you find all kinds of Goliaths, you know? <laughs> you know, there's storms of life everywhere you go. Yes. You know, you just, uh, you know, uh, health Goliaths, uh, mm. financial Goliaths, oh, wh whatever Goliath you want to oh, find, relative. you just walk, sometimes you don't even have to walk out your door. All right. you do is wake up. And yeah. you know you got you got Goliath staring at you. Yeah. Amen. But guess what? Be like little David. Say, mm -hmm. wait a minute. That little David buys up in you and say, yeah. Greater is he that's in me than yeah. he's in the world. Wait a minute. My God is bigger yes. than any problem. Thank My you. God is bigger than anything yes. the enemy or the world can bring against me. Yes. Amen. Stand your ground. Amen. Amen. Stand your ground. Praise Hallelujah. God. Psalm sixty eight, <clears throat> which is our, our text that says that God arise, uh -huh. and that his enemies be scattered. Be scattered. Those who hate him run away in defeat. Uh -huh. As smoke is blown away, so he drives them off. Yes. As wax melt in front of the fire, so do the wicked perish in God's presence. No, but God. the righteous are glad and rejoice yes. in his presence. They are happy and shout for joy. Yes. That's what I'm yes. talking about. We should be the happiest yes. people on earth. on earth. You know, thank you, Lord. For yes. what you've given us. Thank you, Lord. Yes. For sacrificing yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord yes. Jesus, for giving your best. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we just want to surrender ourselves, commit yes. ourselves, and serve you our best. Yes. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Thank you, want to read you one more? <clears throat> Psalms uh, 18, one, 1 through 3. It says, I will love you, O Lord. My strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, mm. my deliverer, my God, and my strength, in whom I will trust, Amen. my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Yes. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Amen. Amen. When you don't know what else to say, just praise him. Lord, yes. I just want to praise you. You know, put your hands up. You know, sometimes the Lord shows up. 
You lift your hands and you see people uh, praising. You see some people on their knees. You see some people dancing. You see some people singing. This is the Lord blessing them in different, different, different ways. Amen. It doesn't have to be all the same way. That's right. But you know, some are crying. Yes. You know, he's blessing you. It doesn't mean nothing bad. It just means he's blessing you. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Amen. When you see these things, just say, Thank you, Lord. Yes. You know, I'd rather have the presence of God here than Amen. stop and bother him and say, you know, uh it, it can't be done that way. Uh. Forget about uh. traditions, forget about mindsets. Lord, have your way. Yes. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Yes. All the time. Amen. Have your way all the time. All the Amen. Time. Praise yes. God. In your, in your presence, wherever you happen to be. You know, uh, yeah. uh, Paul and Silas, we're in a dungeon. We're in prison. <laughs> and they had just been beaten. Mm -hmm. And they sure didn't feel like that, uh, saying. <laughs> but instead Probably of complaining God. and being sad and being mad at God, they started worshiping him. Mm -hmm. They started worshiping him. So it doesn't matter where you are. Yes, they is. worship God, and guess what? God showed up. Yes. Amen. So guess what? Hey, Lord, I'm going to worship you here. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He'll show up wherever you are. Amen. Amen. Don't Thank forget you. about what others say, what you've heard or whatever. You worship him where you are, wherever you happen to be. Mm -hmm. God will be there with you. He says, I never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he'll show up and be with you. Mm -hmm. And he's going to touch you and heal you and, and uh, do whatever he it is that you need, amen. Yeah. He'll meet every need yes. in Thank Jesus' you, name. Will. So praise God. Yes. And in closing, Amen. Praise God. <laughs> That's the only time you said amen, man. <laughs> <laughs> amen. It's about time, man. <laughs> Says the individual or the church body that wants to experience a fresh move of God has got to be willing to say, Let God arise. Yes. Let God mm -hmm. arise. Amen. Then let him. This is the thing is, let go and let God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let go and let God arise. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so quit trying to hold him down. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to limit his arising. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whichever way he wants to show himself. Thank you, Lord. Praise yeah. God. God's nature is this. You know what his nature is? Mm -hmm. He wants to rise up. Yes. What did he do when he was buried? He was he crucified. <laughs> he was buried. And what did he do? Rose up. He rose yeah. up. So he's yeah. in the rising all the time. Amen. He wants yeah. to rise up. Let him rise up. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Let him rise in your life. Yes. Let him rise up in whatever circumstances you're in. Yes. Amen. Thank Amen. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. You, Jesus. Those that do this will walk in and enjoy God's presence. Yes. They'll enjoy God's power. Yes. They'll enjoy God's provision. Yes. They'll enjoy God's protection. Yes. And they'll enjoy God's purpose. Yes. Amen. When you do these, Thank you, Lord. let God arise. God Amen. God. Let God Thank arise. God. Amen. God. I just want to give you this. In uh, Ephesians, you can mark this down, but in Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, it talks about putting on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. You put the whole armor of God on all the time. Keep your armor on. Amen. Amen. But he says, when you stand, Stand. When you've done, all. When you've done all, you, all you've done. Let me let me read a couple of scriptures to you. Say, this. Um, I'm going to read it to you from a different translation, so you can understand this. You probably never heard it this way before. To end my letter, I tell you, be strong in the Lord and uh -huh. in His great power. Uh -huh. Be strong in Him. Yes. I'm not being strong in myself. I'm being strong in Him. Mm -hmm. Wear the full armor of God. Mm -hmm. Wear your wear God's armor. So that you can fight against the devil's clever tricks. Mm -hmm. You're fighting against the devil, not against people. Yeah. Our fight is not against people on earth. We're fighting against the rulers and authorities right. and the powers of this world's darkness. Yes. We are fighting against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly places. This is why you need to get God's full armor on day, on the day of evil. Yes. You will be able to stand strong. And when you finish your whole fight, mm -hmm. you will still be standing. Yeah. And for verse 14 says, so stand strong with the belt of truth mm -hmm. tied around your waist. On your chest, wear the protection of living right. Mm -hmm. A right living, excuse me. 
on your feet, wear the good news of peace mm -hmm. to help you stand strong. Mm -hmm. And then also use the shield of faith, which you can stop all the burning arrows yes. that come from the evil one. Accept uh -huh. God's salvation as your helmet yes. and take the sword of the spirit. That sword is the teaching of God. Mm. Pray in the spirit at all times. Pray with all kinds of prayer and ask for everything you need. Do yes. not do this. You must always, oh, always be ready. Amen. Never give up. Always pray for all of God's people. Amen. Amen. I probably you probably never heard it like this before, but this is a easy to read verse. Amen. So you can understand it. I know the uh, King James says it a different way, and then these and nouns, and and sometimes you may not get it all. But this one, you can read it in English, plain English, where you can understand it. So we need God's full armor. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray, Father. We just thank you for this day, and we thank you for your word, Father. We thank you that we. Uh, have heard your word and thank you that we can apply it to our lives father god and be what you've called us to be lord and rise up to be your warriors your soldiers father god and be active in this army be committed to serve you more and more father god we thank you father in jesus mighty name amen, amen. and praise god thank you lord hallelujah amen. you know if you're watching you're listening you never accepted christ now's the time you know all you have to do is is just say father it's time for me to rise up yes. it's time for for me to let you rise up in my life. Mm -hmm. I want to accept you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. And all you have to do is, is just ask him to come in. Be yes. your Lord and Savior and he will. Yes. Amen. He won't resist you. And now you know what, what I need to do is go to church. Find me a church where they teach the word of God. Mm -hmm. Give me a Bible. Not one that says uh, read me. But <laughs> one that says I'm going to read every day daily. You know. And get the word of God off those pages yes. and into me. Amen. 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 So wherever I go, the word of God is just coming out of me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Says, Amen. Out of my innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Yes. So praise God. And Amen. if you're listening or you're watching, you know, if you need a touch of healing, Father, just touch them, Lord, right now. Wherever they happen Amen. to be hurting, Father God, touch them and heal them, Lord. Thank you, In Lord. Jesus' name, your word says that by Jesus Christ, they were, they were healed. Amen. So from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet, whatever needs the touch of healing right now, Father God, I thank you for touching them and healing them right now, Father. Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. I'm Amen. excited. I don't know about Amen. you. Yes. Make me happy. <laughs> Father, yes. So it's giving time. <laughs> Those of you that are watching or listening that would like to give your tithe or offerings, you will still you can still do that. We thank you for helping us out during this time trying times. You can go to our website, NBC uh, Big Ben. I think uh, it's on the screen. You can just look there, NBCBigBen.com. There's a donate button there, and you can mail it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Again, we wanted to say thank you. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate you. Amen. So you know, uh, I forgot to say this, but I want to let you know. A church alive is worth the drive. <laughs> well, if you're close enough, like one of our church members here, he said, a church alive is worth the walk. Amen? <laughs> so find you a church alive and get yourself planted in there. Amen? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. <clears throat>